Five Minute Eats. Five Minute Eats. Five Minute Eats. Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to Five, Five Minute, Minute Eats. Eats. All right, guys. We have got some stuff to review for you today, and it is some Brazilian bread. Now, here's the thing. This one that we're gonna review, we'll put it right here, is the Gusto Brazil bacon bread. Now, if you guys don't know, we reviewed previously the regular Gusto Brazil. We bought a very large bag of it at Sam's Club, I think, right? Yeah. And we gave it a thumbs down, I believe, right? It was not what we were expecting compared to the regular like Brazilian steakhouse bread that we've had. But because it was such a large bag, we had a lot of time to do some trial and error. And I feel like in the end, we were like, yeah, this is pretty good. The big thing was the cooking time for us. So I guess everyone's oven is gonna vary, you know? So for us, it says on here to cook it um, 15 to 20 minutes. I feel like I typically have to do it like 22 to 25 minutes in our oven and then it makes it good. Because the thing is, making sure that the cheese gets melty enough, and that was the mistake the first time around. And guess who watched our video? Gusto Brazil. That's right. And so they watched our video, reached out to us, said, hey, give it another chance, mm -hmm. right? And we were like, well, actually, we did give it another chance off camera, yeah. and we started to like it, right? Mm -hmm. I guess it came down to what your preference is. Maybe some people like it hard, others like it soft. Yeah, I feel like we like it a lot more soft, which makes it less dense, because the first time around it was so dense. But it turned out good the more that we cooked it longer. All right, guys, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go for it. Yep. And we have a little butter here. Yes. Or a lot Here's, of butter. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our little bites. This is what they look like. Now, the one thing that I'll tell you is that you gotta watch the bottom not getting too done. That's a delicate balance of not getting the bottom too overdone, but making sure that the middle is cooked enough. So there you go. Bacon. I smell bacon, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I do too. So this is what it looks like whenever you're ripping it open. It's very salty. It's very salty, yeah. Oh, I taste the bacon now though. At first I wasn't tasting it. You know what this is made out of? Mm. Tapioca flour. That's interesting. So just to tell you, this one is made with mozzarella and Parmesan cheese. We do have another one coming up that's made from a little bit different things. So look out for that. All right, I'm done. How about you? Yep. Or I should say, I'm ready. Ready, that's right, <laughs> we are ready. Yep, all right guys, so our rating system, thumbs up, we would buy this again, thumbs down, we would not. Mm -hmm. So for me, the Gusto Brazil bacon, it's a thumbs down. Really? It's very salty, I don't really care for the bacon. Everything seems to have bacon in it nowadays, right? That's true. A lot of the time, everything does get better with bacon, right? Mm -hmm. But this is one of those instances where the bacon just very, eh. You can taste it, but I think it's just a weird combination, right? Hmm. It doesn't really do anything for me. That's interesting, because for me, I feel like it's a thumbs up. I like the bacon flavor. I like that there's not big chunks of bacon in it, because that was kind of my like turn off, was thinking about the fact that there might be like big chunks of bacon. I feel like it has good bacon flavor, but I mean, it is a little salty. I think because cheese and bacon tends to be a little salty. So if you're sensitive to that, maybe skip this one, but I like it. I would repurchase it, but only in like a small bag because guys, the big bags of these, it's gonna take you a while to go through it unless you're having like a party. Yeah. <laughs> so go small with any of these. It's a lot of bread to have on hand. Yeah, and I do wanna say one thing, right? Mm -hmm. The first time I had this was, um, it was at Sam's Club when they actually had, uh, what do you call those, food stations? Mm -hmm. Remember those? The good old days. The, the good old days, right? <laughs> Probably never coming back. But at Sam's Club, they have like a refrigerated butter in a, mm. it's a, its own cooler, right? Yeah. And when I first tried it for the first time, they were putting that butter on there, enhancing the bread, right? Because mm. the, the butter was like, you know, like flavored, flavored right? Mm -hmm. It had like cinnamon and this and that. Yeah. And I feel like it made it better when I, had that kind of butter on there. Mm -hmm. So you so, need a fancy butter as the accompaniment yeah. to it? Because as hard as they try, it's just not as good as the Brazilian restaurant bread, right? That's true. I mean, it is good, but it doesn't compare quite to what you get like actually at the place. Because I feel like at a Brazilian place, they're a lot more like airy and it's almost just like a crusty outside with almost nothing on the inside. Yeah, because you know? I feel like with this one, it's too heavy. It is very heavy. Anyway, 
So you said you have. I would have it again. It's a thumbs up. Thumbs up from you. Thumbs, thumbs down, down from me. You. So it's mixed. Yeah. Bacon. You know. I what are you gonna do? The, the flavoring gonna depend on your personal preference for sure. So that's the review, guys. If you like what we're doing here, definitely, definitely, definitely give us a like. That's right. And before you go, remember that sharing is caring. So share this video with all of your friends. Bye. Bye.